Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be taking another look at Harrison Lamont Bay, or whatever the hell he likes to call himself. As the other day, he was in court, and now here's his second appearance in as many days where he tries to defend himself uh, in the court, but ends up failing miserably, trying to use all those more sovereign citizens uh, Trump cards that he thinks he has, but uh, he still ends up paying the price. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Lemon, lemons. I think it's Chester let's Lemons. Bring in, let's bring him in. I think it's up tomorrow. Yeah, but somebody says it's going to be, uh, it's not going to go. There was no jury summons. Somebody emailed me and said we have to be scheduled. So. All right, because of uh, no one's fault except uh, maybe the courthouse is uh, there, there was no jury summons for this. You can go, Ms. Uh, Corporal McCree. I got you checked in, or unless you got other other um, other other ways to sign on. Well, I'll tell uh, Harrison, Harrison Lemon, Harrison Lemon the third. Good morning yeah. to you, sir. I think he represents himself. Harrison Lemon the third. Can you unmute yourself, please? I believe he's sovereign. Yes, indeed. He is indeed a sovereign. And not only that, but he's a more sovereign citizen. So twice the fun. I think so too. Harrison Lemon the third. And a good, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Your Honor. Harrison Lemon Bay uh, here on behalf of Harrison Lemon the third. Okay, so let's call the case. When we had an issue with summons and a jury, uh, where's the trooper? He, you know what, uh, Judge? Unfortunately, I told him it was up tomorrow. I don't know what I was thinking. I said we have a jury trial Friday. It was up tomorrow. Oh, but this was the final pretrial to see if it was going to work itself out. But um, it's not. I'm sure. Oh, because he just called me and asked me if he needed to appear, and I said, no, I can call him right back if you... He's no, he's in here. Well, just, let's call the case. Which guy, which guy is here? Okay. Let's call the case. Let's put Thank this you, all Judge. on the record. I'm sorry. I'm the city of Detroit versus... Oh, strike that. This is the state of Michigan versus Harrison Lemon Bay the third Case number SX4195968. Counts one, two, and three. Appearance for the record, please. Call a call on behalf of the people. All right. Uh, Trooper Shields, can you put your appearance on the record for me, please? Uh, it's, Trooper, it's Trooper Butchkaya who's on Clemens. And he's the one oh. who called me and I told him he didn't have to zoom in because it's. Okay, very well. Okay, very well. Uh, Mr. Uh, Harrison Lemon Bay, the, the third, can you, can you put your appearance on the record, please? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Harrison Lamont Bay, spelled uh, all lowercase H A R R I S. Oh, there he goes with all that lowercase B S. Lowercase, uppercase doesn't denote a corporation. I don't know where you get that from. And besides, the first letter of every name is capitalized, you bloody moron. It has nothing to do with corporations, it's just part of grammar. Oh, N. Space L E space M O N space B E Y. That is Harrison Lamont Bay. I am uh, the surety on behalf of the principal debtor, Harrison Lamont III, spelled with all capital letters. Uh, for the record, uh, Your Honor, I'm I'm not familiar with the Harrison Lamont Bay the third. It sounds like you're very familiar with them. You got you spell it out. You you said I'm I'm Harrison. Lamont Bay the third, or uh, Harrison Lamont Bay on behalf of that and the surety of that. I mean, you sound like you're very familiar with him. Listen, Soft Heart, nobody's going to buy your freaking BS. These are professional debaters, arguers, or whatever you want to call it. They know how this stuff works. 
I mean, you're not going to be fooling anybody with that beneficiary BS, but I know you're going to continue on with it, so let's continue on with this little shit show of yours. Your, your honor. So I'm like, and maybe, I, I, I would guess that your mom probably named you Harrison Lamont Bay when you were born. Your honor, the name Harrison Lamont Bay III is a name that I am completely unfamiliar with. If this if this matter today is related to a name that is Harrison Lamont Bay the Third, I'm I'm not authorized to to speak on that name. I'm not trying to be, to to bring any type of controversy to the court or anything like that. I'm just simply here to be able to settle this matter uh, and and settle the charges and bring this matter to the close. That's, that's it. All right. Well, we can bring the matter to a close by taking an offer. We can give you an offer, Miss. Uh, uh, APA Cole, do you want to give Mr. Um, I, I don't know how you want to be referred to, uh, but Mr. Harrison Lamont Bay the third, an offer. You want to take that offer? We can uh, satisfy it like that, or we can satisfy it like we had set for a jury trial. And, and, and the note that we received this morning was that uh, un, uh, from nobody's fault um, here, uh, the court did not summons a jury for some reason or another. That's why we're not uh, going to have that trial tomorrow. Uh, so we can schedule it for another jury trial if that's what you want, uh, Mr. Without knowing how you want to be referred to Harrison Lamont Bay the third. Your Honor, uh, again, just 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 to be clear, Harrison Lamont Bay, here on behalf of the principal debtor, Harrison Lamont the third. Okay. So Harrison Lamont Bay. Um what would you like to do? Your Honor, I'd 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 be short notice. I'd I'd really uh I'm just looking for a plea of release today. Will you grant a plea of release? No, I'm, I'll deny that. Okay. So how will how else you want to proceed? I gave you the two options: taking a plea or going to jury trial. Do you disclaim the trust? Uh, no. This isn't a matter of showing your birth certificate and it'll be over with. This is reality. This isn't your more soft hard fantasy world. You've got to go through this process, dude. I don't. I don't know what that is. My name is granted to the court for uh, future return with my interest. I gave the court notice, and I'm 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 here again simply just to be able to settle these charges and bring this matter to a close. Okay. And I gave you the two mean, ways. You pardon, sir. I'm not. I'm not looking to overspeak you either. So. No, I'm sorry. I gave you the two ways that you can settle it. You can settle it by taking a plea. Or you can settle it by going to jury trial. I'm assuming that you want another jury trial because you said that the first time. But you got the option of um, Ms. APA Cole giving you an offer of taking a plea. Just for the record, Your Honor, this is Paula Cole on behalf of the people. It's my understanding that's just two charges today, no operator's license and no insurance. And there was a violation of vacant base. But violation of basic speed law but that was an informal hearing i just want to make sure i have the charges correct so that uh, uh, mr bay is aware and certainly i would be willing to work out an offer with him if he is interested um the the, the yeah 16 to 20 in a construction zone is that is that an informal hearing or is that a, is that up today as well with the other two well, if it's in default, I don't see any reason to set it aside because it's just, um, you know, what we're, we're, you know, I, I, it just, it just, it just befuddles me how uh, the sovereign people come in and have, they say that the court has no jurisdiction over them. And I guess I guess you can make that argument, but the simple thing I ask in these cases 
is how if you're if the speed limit is 25 miles per hour does it does it can you just go 50 and nobody can say anything to you and nobody can stop you and nobody can pull you over if you run over a child nobody can do anything to you because you're sovereign i don't know i don't understand that no judge uh, they have this uh impassioned belief that they are above the law that anything they do is well none of your business to begin with even if they do a daryl brooks and uh well you know the rest of that story your your honor well, I, keep, I, I keep hearing uh well two things one i i heard uh uh pardon pardon me again i did not uh i, I missed uh the name or I don't want to mispronounce the name of uh, of uh, ADA Cole. ADA Cole. I heard her make mention of an insurance uh, matter. I, this is the first that I've heard of. No, um, it's not insurance. Uh, she, I think she. Matter. I think she uh, misspoke on the insurance. It is a, a a no ops, no operator's license, so no driver's license. It is a speeding ticket, sixteen to twenty over. In a construction zone, it says you were doing the allegation says that you were doing 55 in a 35 mile an hour zone, and then it's no plate, no, no expired plate. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. You're, uh, so that's that she that correct is correct. All right, go ahead. For the record, I did not violate the sole intent and spirit of the law. Nobody was injured and, and no property was damaged. Your Honor. I understand that, but it was, they didn't say any property was damaged. They didn't say that that was the allegation. They said the allegation was that you were speeding 16 to 25 in a 16 to 20 in a um, construction zone, and they have you. Uh, it seems like they used the device to track your speed, 55 to 35, in a 35. Uh, let me clarify for that for you, uh, Your Honor. Uh, these uh, sovereign citizens tend to believe that if there's no victim, there is no crime. Therefore, a speeding violation and a tag violation are have no victims. Therefore, they are no they are not crimes. Therefore, that's the whole reason why he wants you to let him off the hook because he has that belief, which is a false belief to begin with. Because you don't have to have a victim to have a crime. So are, it, it is laser. It's laser. Uh, you know, or so it's one thing if you suggest that that wasn't me. They got the wrong car, or or or, or, or I wasn't there. It's another thing to suggest that the 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 device is miscalculated and it, it wasn't working properly. Um, um, I don't know what else is other defense that you could raise, but those are just two off the top of my head. And then, um, but other than that, I mean, other than outside of any other defense, do you do you say that you can just go fifty five and thirty five mile an hour zone? Your Your Honor, uh, again, my name is granted to the court for future return with my interest. Uh, now, uh, I hear you make mention of. Uh, sovereign. I've heard you make mention of, of that that term. Sovereign. I just, I, I mean, you may not be claiming sovereign. I don't know. That's just what I hear um, most of the time when I hear these arguments. Your Honor, I'm a friend of the United States, not neutral, not anti-government. I physically reside, not statutorily, in the Union State in a non-military occupied area without the territorial jurisdiction and without the District of Columbia. I don't have a personal military. I depend on the United States for protection and security found in Article 4, Section 4, making me subject to those protections. I spend a lot of time learning on how to comply with the law of both my creator and my government not defiling and opposing those laws. I'm, I, okay, so you depend on, let me stop you right there. You depend on the government for protection, right? Did you just not, did you just say that? That is correct. I did just say Okay, that. so you depend on the government for protection. 
So the government is saying they're protecting other people because Mr. Golson depends on the government for protection. ADA Cole depends on the government for protection. Attorney Harris depends on the government for protection. They want they want to be safe and they want their kids and their families to be safe. So when they cross the street, people are abiding by the speed limits and the laws of the of the of, of the government. Boom. Roasted. Why do and, and I'm not suggesting that this, these allegations are true, but let's just, let's just say for the sake of this argument right here that they are true, that you were born 55 and a 35, right? How do you, how do you, how are you able to do that and not have and suffer any repercussions and, uh, and nobody else can? Your, your Honor, I, I, I can't speak to that fact. Okay, I mean, so what I, do you want to do? I, I, I. I am. Um... Uh oh, the judge just uh, gave the soft heart a logical argument, and he doesn't have any real defense against it. So, therefore, he's kind of uh, jumping all over the place now. He's lost. Simply here because I am looking to settle this matter as as easily and as amicably as possible. There was a charge that was brought against a name that is. Uh, that is in trust. And these proceedings are damaging rights to possession, title, and interest in a private trust that only inherit equity has the sole exclusive jurisdiction to recognize. And you have not even tried to counter the judge's argument. You're just arguing more of that sovereign citizen Morse garbage that is uh, pretty much nonsensical and fictional. It's not so. It, 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 it this is not a special court equity, and it does not have jurisdiction over non-statutory trust here today. Now I know I know the parties of the trust, and none of the parties of the trust are are here today. That's why I, I came in today, looking to looking for a plea of release and to settle this this matter in good faith. Hey, right. look. Hey, I'll tell you what. I might not be the sharpest knife in the drawer, and I'm probably that that went way over me right there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bay. And let me ask you this: you su you you submitted this as an exhibit, sir? Did you submit these as exhibits? Is this your uh, this license plate picture here? I can't see what that what that that. This is uh, it, it's it's labeled Exhibit C, uh, page one of one. It's got a Nissan car with a U.S. dot. Three nine four zero seven five five on there. Foreign national non commercial. The Morris Empire. Is that your plate? Your Honor, that is that is the plate that is attached to uh, conveyance. Yes. Okay, that's your plate, right? Yes, that is. Uh, as okay. You, as where you did you get this? Where did you get this plate from? Your Your Honor, the car has attached to it a Department of Travel number. Oh, you slipped up. You called it a car. You didn't call it your uh, conveyance. You called it a car. I that asked you, where did you get this plate from, sir? I didn't ask you about the car. Where did you get the plate from? That's a that's a private matter, Your Honor. Uh, you, submitted, you submitted it as an exhibit. I did submit the plate as an exhibit, Your Honor. I absolutely submitted that plate as an exhibit, because it does speak to the fact that there was. Okay, so at, at, as, at, on, on your exhibit, I'm going to find you. Um, I'm going to find you responsible for the uh, registered plate. I'm going to find you $145 for that. So that matters over with. Now we're dealing with the no ops and the speeding ticket. Your Now, I'm going to give you an opportunity to set a jury trial, or I'm going to give you an opportunity to take a plea on those two on those two other matters. Your Honor, if I if I, I if, so what you're saying is that there are now specific charges attached to each of the things, each of the claims that were brought against the name Harrison Lamont the third. Is that correct? Yes, that's all I, that's all I understand. So upon tendering payment, I've, I've given the court notice of subrogation and substitution. So upon tendering payment, 
those rights will be honored, correct? I don't know. Those rights be honored? I don't, I don't, I don't I, I, upon tendering payment for the $145, then we'll, that'll cancel out the um, no registration. Upon tendering payment of $170, that'll cancel out the speeding ticket. And um, the other matter will have to be a June. Because uh, the one misdemeanor will have to be adjudicated, and the two civil infractions you can just pay and then close them out like that. And I'm going to find you responsible based on your exhibit for the uh, expired plate. Your Honor, I did not see the exhibit of an expired plate. I, Your Honor, I was issued a, a ticket for an expired plate with the plate number EJL. The name was issued a ticket for the expired plate number EJL 7110. Is that correct? Uh -huh. I guess so. Go so ahead, Council. I don't think he yeah. wants any representation. I, I, I'm Go sure ahead. that he probably doesn't, but you're saying you're suggesting that he would have to pay a speeding ticket, and it sounds like that would be points. I don't want points associated with that. That would well, be bad. He doesn't want. I, do you want Miss uh, Harris to represent you, Mr. Bay? Your Honor, I'm not looking. I'm not looking for any representation, Mr. Right, Bay. So how about how about this? Can we have a discussion in the breakout room? I don't have to represent you, but I just want to give you a little bit of assistance. Can I give you some assistance? Are you okay with that, and Attorney Harris? You know that that is a uh, default, the, the speeding violation. If the, and I would object to setting it aside at this point. It's on the it's on the docket for today. Your Honor, I hate to insert myself into this case. It is not my business. But if this person in front of us is not Harrison Lamont III, we just need to capious Mr. Harrison and move on. This gentleman is not an attorney, unless I'm sadly mistaken. He cannot represent anyone, including a, a name he's now made up for himself. He can only represent put your himself. Appearance the, put your appearance on the record, Counselor. Alexis Schneider for the People, P80322. Thank you. It, it, that sounds like a, um, I, I fair, a fair, um, a fair motion. Uh, and that, that's viable, but we're also getting into a dangerous territory of unauthorized practice of law. And I don't want him to pick up charges for that or any penalty for that. Mr. Right. Bay, can you I talk to, to you in a breakout room, please? Okay, let me get this straight. Because he's not technically representing himself, he's representing somebody else. That would mean he's representing somebody else without a law license, which makes that entirely illegal. So he's just stepped into something very dangerous right there. You, sir, are a complete moron, as well as all of these other Moorish sovereign citizens who have been trying to do the same thing. This is just so damn funny to watch. I'm willing Mr. to have Bay. a conversation. All right, very good. That's that's very good. I'm going to put you in a breakout private room with Miss uh, Harris. Miss Harris. All right, now we Thank got. You. To Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Attorney Schneider, for your help. My pleasure. Right. Your Honor, All I, right. I hate to interrupt um, you. I have three other courtrooms that are emailing me, and I was just trying to say. Just go ahead, Miss Miss Cole. <laughs> this is not going to. That's the little bit of entertainment for the day, you know. I, so. I just trying to find out. I have a trooper here, um, Lindsay, Chayton Lindsay, and I was hoping I could speak to a house counsel about it before I leave, because the trooper... Lindsay? Is, yeah, I just wanted to see if he's checked in. Chayton Lindsay. And all it's right. ticket. Lin it ends in 622. Yes, he's here. He's here. I'm going to bring them all in. They should have all watched. Many, many minutes later. Okay, let's go back on the record with... Um, it, it, it's I just don't mean that any disrespect, but I just don't know how to address you. But I'll say, Mr. Harrison Lamont Bay the third. All right. Um, go, go ahead, sir. Um, so he's his name is what is your name, sir? Your Honor, my name is Harrison Lamont the third. I prefer for it to be spelled capital H, lowercase a r r. I S O N and then Lamont to be spelled capital L lowercase e space capital M lowercase O N and that is the third. Very well, Mr. Uh, uh, Lamont the third, 
how do you want to proceed on the um, speeding ticket and on the um, on the no ops ticket? Your Honor, I'm looking to settle all of these charges today. I I I, I do not want to go to trial. I'm not. Again, I, I've said this several times. I, I'm not looking to create any controversy. I'm just looking to settle this matter as quickly and as amicably as possible and good. All right. I don't think that you're willing. I don't. I don't say that you're. Uh, you 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 don't want to be amicable about it. I mean that you're that you're in any way disrespectful. You haven't been ever disrespectful. You were in your last time and very respectful. Um. So you just have to either take an offer. And, and plead to it. But the problem is, is it doesn't seem like you're going to want to plead to it and make an actual basis about it. What is, what is the offer you're on? Let's get APA call back in here and see what she's going to offer you. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, let's go back on the record uh, with Mr. Lamont uh, Bay the third. Um, now, APA Cole, uh, Mr. Bay wants an offer to resolve the matter. What would his offer be? And we'll just one offer for all three. I did, uh, Attorney Harris did email me recently. Um, it was expired plates, isn't that correct? It's My expired own. plates, speeding um, in uh, 1620 in a construction zone, and a no ops ticket. I would want him to be responsible on the speeding, and I would do a fail to display and and dismiss the expired plates. But he would have to speed plead on the nose to the speeding because that's in a construction zone, which is very dangerous. I, so, I listen. listen I, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to. Um, I respect your offer, Mrs. Cole. Typically, typically, if it's three tickets, it's one for one for three. I mean, or it's. I just have to be. Um, I just want to be fair across the board to everybody. You know, I understand, judges. It's just that if we, the trooper, they, he get, they get such a hard time from uh, Mr. Bay. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to call him Mr. Bay. That he was very upset about this case, and um, <clears throat> I'm just concerned that is if he going to get stopped again and still have these same excuses that he's not, he's above the laws, the traffic laws, and he doesn't require. Well, that is a valid point, and typically these sovereign citizens do go out there again and uh, do drive, continue to drive without driver's licenses, insurance, registration, tags, and everything like that. So it is a legitimate concern. Um, well, I mean, and, 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 I, and, I, and I'm concerned about it, too. Um, and I'm concerned about it to the point where, I, I you know, Mr. Bay... Um, you know, I don't agree with your position in society, but everybody has, makes their own choices and things like that. Um, so I, I just, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to pass judge, any judgment on that. Right. Um, but I do have a problem. Uh, like I asked you earlier, um, as far as you not feeling it's it's what I get and and, and, I, and I'm and I am taking the arguments that I've heard from previous people that take your position that the police officer has no right to pull you over and I understand your position by saying that nobody was injured or nobody was hurt but I do have an issue with um, uh, uh, people saying that they can go 16 and especially that excessive speed in construction zones and things like that. And and for them not to um the officer not to have any jurisdiction over them. I, I, I just ask everybody that takes that position, 
How else is there going to be order? How else is there going to be what's going to stop Mr. Lindsay from going 16 to 20 over? What's going to stop Trooper Shields from going 16 to 20 over or me for 16 to 20 over if nobody has any jurisdiction over? So I, I understand uh, uh, APA Cole's apprehension. That is a very good argument, Judge, but unfortunately, History has shown that these sovereign citizens will always believe that they're above the law, that the law doesn't apply to them. And I do believe it will be the same thing for this uh, more sovereign citizen because, well, he has that same mentality. He's demonstrated it throughout this case, and therefore he's going to continue to do this, and uh, it's going to lead to the inevitable consequences of those actions. Are you muted, sir? I hear, uh, I hear what you all are are saying, and and I'll you know I'll con continue to say I'm not attempting to bring uh, any controversy uh, in my times on on uh, uh, on the road. For example, on this instance and the time that we are uh, encountering, uh, uh, or the time that we are discussing now. Uh, the construction zone uh, was uh, that is a, an area that I uh, that I, I travel um, you know often enough and the construction zone was brand new the speed limit there is actually 50 when it's not a construction zone I was unaware it was not an intention uh, an, I, I'm not uh, when I say I wasn't intending to do harm and I was intending to fulfill the spirit and so of all there's no Okay, now you're saying that you just lack common sense because generally construction zones are uh, high-risk areas where signs are posted anyway to protect the construction workers from getting hurt due in part to motorists who uh, will often speed through those zones thinking that it doesn't really matter. I mean, who really cares if there are people in that area helping to expand the roads or building a building or anything like that. If they get in the way, well, it's their own damn fault for being there working on the roads to begin with. I mean, that's the typical mindset I've seen from a lot of people out there who, well, engage in that kind of activity. I, I, I wasn't, I, I literally am, am, am only attempting to live peacefully and be in you know, in line with, you know, with my God. And that means bringing, having peace <laughs> amongst, and harmony amongst all of you and anybody else that I encounter. That's why I keep pointing out, hey, I'm not attempting to bring any controversy or anything like that. Well, this, is a, this is an adversarial proceeding at its nature, period. Somebody says you did something, you say, you may say you did. And now you kind of give me better clarity on what was going on. And, and I think that that does make a difference when you make that statement like, hey, I was I'm not contesting that I was going this 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 fast necessarily, but I didn't know that the, uh, the construction zone was in place. So it kind of, you know, because what, what, what I'm looking at it as and I'm sure APA Cold is looking at it as is 35, 35 mile an hour zone. And if, if you say you didn't know, uh, uh, but also APA Cole was looking at it as it, what she mentioned is that, you know, are we going to continue to be back here? I mean, obviously for this plate, if you still have this kind of plate on your car, probably so. But that's a different nature than than at least than the speeding ticket where somebody can get injured or killed or hurt, seriously hurt or something like that. I understood. I have children. I don't want to hurt anybody either. I, we could work with the speeding, Your Honor, but I'm just like I said, the, the troopers have get so much flack when they pull someone over and like, do you have a license? Well, I don't have to have it because the debtors and I, it's I just don't want it'll be continued and we'll be back here. And, and well, I'm sure that we'll put we'll, we'll it this way. I have no doubt that Mr. Uh, Bay is going to take that, continue to take that position. Um, uh, but I, if we can, um, 
if you don't have a problem with giving them a break and on the speed and you plead to the failure to display, pay $240 and, and we'll close the other two matters out. Is that, a, is that, a, is that, and then if he comes back with the speeding again and there's just no other offer anymore, is that a, is that a, uh, can this, uh, does he, he, will he will plead to that if he is going to plead to that because I know I'll have an angry trooper but as long as he you know that we know Mr. Bay will accept that so will you will you, will you accept it would you agree that you're that you didn't have a valid driver's license sir so if I'm understanding correctly what we're saying is that I'm a uh we're we're I'm agreeing that I didn't have a valid driver's license. And right. what we're talking about at the end of the day is paying $240 and the rest, and we've settled the matter. And that'll sell, that'll sell everything. Uh, I accept that. Very well. Okay. Now, um, I need uh, Attorney Harris to read you your advice or rights. And that's just for the court to... And that's a procedural thing uh, that we have to do. Um, and you don't have to necessarily agree that these are your rights or anything like that. I, I think you I think you you want the right to a trial and things like that. I think you would want to have be able to call. So let me go over those rights with you momentarily and then we'll get you take the plea and we'll get you out of here. All right. All right. Join the rejoin the takeout room. Go ahead, madam. Um, Paul. Um, the one thing is, is it going to be under the name or under the is he going to be responsible under his name that the tickets are under? I just want to be sure that we're uh, that he indicated that 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 he would accept that name. Um, okay, uh, capital, capital H A a small case A R R I S O N capital L small case E capital M uh, small case O N uh, the third, correct? Correct. There, there. So there are. Uh, there is a space between okay. the E and the yes, M. So yes. We see that. L, L, and the, um, the L, and the E and the M. Yes. All right. Join the breakout room, and um, we'll 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 make we'll we'll get you out of here as soon as we can, possibly can. I did not have a breakout room with um, Mr. Bay either. Because he didn't he didn't join it. He, he's got his hand. I tried. Right. I did attempt to to join the breakout room. It didn't present the option in the same place it did where you hit the the, the button last time it appeared on the screen. I right, I'll, I'll, switch, I'll switch it up. Go if ahead. it is if it is just me giving them both their advice of rights, put them back in the breakout. To, we can put them Very both well. together if the court is okay with that. Very well. All right, let's pass those matters. Thank you, Judge. All right, and I think um, if, uh, I don't know if we're going to have any. Um, con con contest to that offer, or if not, then um, you, the, the both of you are free to leave. But uh, I'll, I'll stick do, around, I better stick around. <laughs> okay, very well. Many unbearable hours later, let's give Mr. Uh, Lamont Bay the third. All right, let's go back on the record, Mr. Lamont Bay the third. Mr. Bay, I've given you an opportunity. Um, to, uh, uh, I guess the resolution is going to be failure to display. Um, can you raise your right hand, please? Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. All right, you can put your hand down, sir. Sir, do you understand the maximum possible penalty for this misdemeanor offense is 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines? Yes. Do you understand that you have an absolute right to a trial? Yes. Do you understand that uh, Miss uh, Harris went over some of your other advice or rights in the breakout room? Did she not? Yes. You understood those rights, sir. Yes. Do you have any questions about those rights? No. Do you understand by taking this offer, you're going to give those rights up? Yes. Has anybody offered you anything other than what's been stated in the record? No. 
Now let me draw your attention back to March the 21st, 2023 at around 11.10 a.m. in the city of Detroit in the area of um, Telegraph and Eight Mile Road, sir. Did you have an occasion on that day to come encounter with the Detroit Police Department? Uh, I was not the Detroit Police Department. Did you have an occasion on that day to come encounter with the Michigan State Police Troopers? Yes. On that day, were you operating a motor vehicle? Yes. And did that officer ask you to produce a valid driver's license? Yes. You couldn't do so, could you, sir? No. Why is that? I do not have a valid driver's license. Very well. I'm going to find your client guilty of the amended count of failure to display. We already talked about the penalty for that. And um, with the stipulation of probable cause, I'm going to dismiss the other matters. So stipulated, Trainer. $240, Mr. Uh, Lamont Bay. Uh, when can you pay it? Uh, may I, may I please have uh, up to 30 days to pay that, Your Honor? Very well. Gratitude. I'm going to give you until July the 3rd, 2023 to pay that, all right? All right. If it's nothing further, sir, I wish you the best of luck. Have a very good day and uh, good luck to you. Same to you. Well, now, maybe he'll learn that this uh, more sovereign citizen garbage doesn't really work in the court because, well, it is just a bunch of legal nonsense anyway, but who knows if he'll learn from this experience or not. But if experience is any teacher, then uh, judging by experiences of uh, past sovereign citizens in the court, I doubt that he will... Uh, even learn his lesson. In fact, he'll continue to do this and get uh, pulled over and then go back to court every single time. But hey, that's just my opinion. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.